What up there, baby? Justice. Hey, man, this here recording is mostly for you. I did this here little tutorial here for you to try to get you up to snuff on uh, MIDI and the MIDI function within Cubase. I know you told me you had a Cubase 4, but I got a, a Cubase XX here. It's a copy of it. Uh, I got it from around. Like I said, I don't advocate anyone. You know, just uh, going out getting software from, you know, the torrent sites and stuff. But there's a lot of stuff that you can find. Uh, software at cut rate and you can find them at discount prices do whatever you can to try to get what you can but if you happen to someone ever you know give you a link to a certain software and if you happen to use it you know don't try not to make any money off it don't try to make money off other people work you know use it to your benefit and then you know try to purchase the software you know like you mean you was talking and I didn't that, that just so that's just my take on thing I try to help anybody I can now, like I said, this is Cubase SX that I'm using, and uh, it'll work probably the same way for you in uh, Cubase 4. Now, I want you to follow along with me. This is uh, my Camtasia I'm using here. Uh, now hopefully, it will, it will do right. Now, as you can see on the screen there, uh, I got a, a Cubase that's at the, when I just got it started here. And I have no projects or anything loaded. So now I'm going. I'm just going to take, for instance, I'm going to take for granted. And I'm going to assume that you know about all the preliminary stuff. So let's go. Let's click file, and let's start a new project. Uh, let's say uh, let's let let's make it empty, just for the sake of showing you how to do the thing from scratch. So we're going to do an empty project, and it's going to ask you where you want to. And I already got a director on my drive called. It's in my document. It's called my Cubase project. So it automatically go there. So I just click OK. Well, this is the default window. This is the project area here. You know this. And once this opens up, now this right here is where your tracks will go. You know where all your tracks will go right in, the, in this area here. So you can right click there and you can say add audio track, FX channel, folder track, group, MIDI track, what's whatnot. But now I already have my MIDI stuff set set up. But I'm just going to assume that I don't. And then we're going to go through it step by step. Now, first thing you want to do, before you worry about trying to add tracks or anything, let's go up to, uh, let's go to devices. And as you can see, that I got quite a few devices. Uh, Ableton Live, Fruity Loops. Okay, now, Reason. All right. Now, let's go to where you see up there where it says, um, device setup go to device setup click on that and then you'll see here where you get you got your category you got your MIDI alright all MIDI inputs which I mind the sound blaster live I've been had that forever in a day and it's active and my default MIDI ports is the sound blaster live that's the MIDI input and the output I don't use it because of the fact that I got my keyboard hooked up to it but I don't use my keyboard as a sound generator, so I don't need the output driver to be loaded because I'm not going to go back out to my keyboard. I'm going to be work within the PC itself, so I don't have to have that. But if you wanted to go to send the sound back out through your MIDI device to your keyboard, then you would just click that and just choose your MIDI port, which will be the same port as the one there, as you can see. So we're not going to check that. All right, direct music. With his, I mean, Windows MIDI, right here you see all of my directories. You see out, Sound Blaster, Sound Blaster Live Soft Synth is active. Sound Blaster Live Software Synthesizer is active, but it's it's uh it's not it's it's showing, but it's not active, cause I don't have that one. The software synthesizer on board the card, active, and I got the sound A is active, and I got the MIDI port out as I just showed you. It's not active. So, that's that's take care of all the MIDI section. Now, as you go here, you'll look down here, you'll see where it said VST Audio Bay. And now I'm using ACL for all driver. That's a, that's a master driver for your sound card that makes it makes your latency be very much lower than it would if you were not using it. Uh, it may it make it, it make the latency be a lot. From the time you press a, a key and the time you hear it, that's the latency. Okay, VST inputs, as you can see, it's my Sound Blaster Live audio card. That's my audio card. 
outputs as you can see are the same it's got six of them now what that is saying that what that means there is I got a left and right left and right one two three and four and then you got five and six which is a more like that's a stereo that's a stereo out left and right then the rest of them is mono out okay uh, then you got your VST system link with this side of that, that just shows you how your ASIO is going to incorporate with your sound card. And as you see, you put your input and output will be your sound card. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Doc, that's about it for that. If anybody got any more, wanna, want me to elaborate more on this here thing, I will if you would just hit me up. Okay, so you got that. So you click OK. Remember now, I'm trying to I'm trying to run Camtasia along with this here, so it's taking things a little bit longer to do, and the, and the close open and close. So now you got your sound card set up, your MIDI MIDI ports and all that set up and ready to go. You add your MIDI track. There it is. Now I got my keyboard. I got my keyboard hooked up. See, mine is already is already is automatically and ready to go because remember I told you I already got mine set up. But if I didn't have it set up, I would have done the same thing I just showed you. And you do that, and you will see. If you look over there at the inspector right here, this is the inspector. You see, the input port is my Sound Blaster Live port. The output the output the output is the Sound Blaster Live software software synthesizer. That's the software synthesizer that built into the sound card. That's the output. That's why you can hear. I think you can hear it a little bit. Not very loud. Though. I don't know whether I got my volume turned down or I think I have my MIDI. I think I have my MIDI volume turned down very low. Cause I can't turn it up too high because I don't want to get this feedback. Okay, you can hear it a little bit better there. So you see that is that is the the way it is set up and uh and uh matter of fact it coming through there and I got you see where it says uh, channel one that's the channel I'm playing on okay in the program it's got um uh, I'm trying to find the the way where you can uh you can choose your you can choose your your instrument. Okay, so in other words, I got the bank is off channel one. Okay, let's see here. I know it's somewhere here. Let me see, can I find it? Let me see, can I find it? I don't know why I can't find it. Okay, now that that is software since that's that's the output. That's how come you can hear it. Now I could put them on A or B. Let's try A. See how it changed it? change the sound there because of the different scent. Now I can go in there and I can choose whatever instrument that I want to play. Let's just say if I want to play the organ. I just click the organ. And let's say if I want to play the tenor sax. Or the English horn. Bassoon. French horn. Brass. MIDI is so wonderful. MIDI is so wonderful. And you can build a whole arrangement just from using your MIDI instruments. And Doc, that's basically, that's it in a nutshell. You set it up and that, this is your MIDI track right here. And it's already on for recording. It's record enabled. Now I'm going to enable that recording again. And, then, and if you press asterisk, it makes it start doing the recording. You... Now that's just a little bit of recording that I've done. And you rewind it. Re uh oh, I hit the wrong button. Rewind. Go back to the beginning. Play it back. There you go. And see, that's playing the brass selection. So, and the beauty about MIDI, once you've got it recorded, if, if that's the way you want it, and if you want to change the sound, just go right here and change that to... Uh, um, let's see here. Let's see what we can change it to. Let's change that to a electric piano, and then play it back, and it'll give you electric piano. And you never have, don't have to do any more recording. 
That's the beauty of MIDI, which I'm quite sure you all know about that. But if you didn't, if you don't, this is basically it in a nutshell. So if anybody got anything else that they might want to know about this stuff, I mean, it's a whole lot to this. And I ain't no way in the world I could sit here and just do it all at one time in one tutorial. It would be too long. But if you got anything you want to know about MIDI, I remember they called me the MIDI man. But that doesn't mean I know it all <laughs> just because they called me the MIDI man. But you might could tell me something. But if anything else that you need to know, just hit me up and we'll be more than willing to try to look. If I don't know it, I'll try to find it for you. With that being said, this is Midi Man saying peace and goodbye.